determine whether the statements in A and B are logically equivalent. And if you remember from the previous videos, the best way to determine whether or not two statements are logically equivalent is to build a truth table. But to build a truth table, we need to break up these statements in terms of individual statements that are true or false by themselves. So for example, we have Bob is both a math and computer science major, and Anne is a math major, but Anne is not both a math and computer science major. There's a lot going on here, and I will say, as a warning, this is going to get pretty messy. The truth table is going to be pretty convoluted. We could see that Bob is a math major, and Bob is a computer science major. We could see that Anne is a math major, and we have Anne is a computer science major. So there are four statements here, and let me write them out very clearly. So again, the four statements are Bob is a math major, Bob is a computer science major, Anne is a math major, Anne is a computer science major. Now, if you notice, there are no nots in these statements. And this is exactly how I would recommend building each component in these statement forms. We can use the negation symbol for every time we want to represent the word not. We'll call the first one P, next one Q, blue will be R, and yellow will be S. So now we can rewrite part A and part B, but using P, Q, R, and S. We have Bob is both a math and computer science major. That's specifically P and Q. And Anne is a math major. That's and R. But, now the conjunction but is the same logically as the operation and. So and, Anne is not both a math and computer science major. So that's specifically the negation of the statement when Anne is both a math and computer science major, which is R and S. So that's part A. We need to see, is this logically equivalent to part B? So what's part B? Part B says, it is not the case that both Bob and Anne are both math and computer science majors. So that means it is not the case, that's the not operation. So which case? The case that both Bob and Anne are both math and computer science majors. That's P and Q and R and S. Then it says, but it is the case, and remember the conjunction but is the same as the operation and. So and, it is the case that Anne is a math major and Bob is both a math and computer science major. So that means and, P, Q, and R. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to put the green statement here and I'll put the red statement here. Now you might be wondering, why aren't we building these statements individually? And I would highly recommend that you do that. Um, however, the reason we're not doing that in this video is because I gotta keep these videos short. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in each of these scenarios into this and just kind of see what happens when P and Q are true and R is true, that's true. So this left side is true, and then R and S is true, so R, so this is true. The negation of that is false, and false with true is false. So you're probably gonna have to work this out on a piece of paper or something. Okay, so the green statement is almost always false, except when P is true, Q is true, R is true, and S is false. Now let's do the red column. If P and Q and R and S are all true, then the negation of that would be false, and so this operation would be false. Similarly, the red statement is only true if P is true, Q is true, R is true, and S is false. So if you notice, these two columns have the same truth value for every single row, which means that they are logically equivalent. And since we have the same component statement, this means that these are two ways of saying the same exact thing. Since the logical form is the same and the content within each individual statement is also the same, this means that part A and part B are the same statements. They're, they're conveying the same amount of information just in different ways that are pretty confusing. So to say that Bob is both a math and a computer science major, and Anne is a math major, but Anne is not both a math and computer science major, that is the same thing as 
it is not the case that both Bob and Anne are both math and computer science majors, but it is the case that Anne is a math major and Bob is both a math and computer science major. That's a really weird way of saying the same thing in two different ways, but that's how you solve this problem. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.